Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Farmhouse Suicidal, and we're going to be having some shorter episodes today, because um, I just don't want to record, to, to be quite honest with you. I just don't want to, that's all. Um, really what it is, is I've, I've been really occupied, I was going to say busy, but it's not really like responsibility so much, you know, I've just been doing things. Um... So, I, uh, yeah, I've just been doing things and I kind of got distracted. It's getting a little bit late. I don't really want to be recording and I want to go back to what I was doing. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, what was I doing? Well, it's a couple of things, really. I ordered a, uh, a sailing book, uh, from Amazon. And then, uh, it was, um, Annapolis of Seamanship by John Rue something or other. Um, it's apparently sort of like the book on, uh, on sailing. It's used in a lot of, um, uh, schools and, uh, all, all that kind of stuff. You know, if you're off, uh, with Mrs. Puff or, uh, or whatever her name is. This is going to be your textbook. So I, uh... I bought it, and um, Have you checked your ammo? it's going to get here on Tuesday, so a couple of days from now. I'm excited about that, but then I also wanted to get started reading it earlier, um, because I want to just read it, you know, like I want to get started. I want to have the physical book so that, because um, the plan is to take it onto my boat when I move on to the boat, right? Like, um... Most of the time, I'll probably be using, you know, I'll I'll I'll, I'll have a like an e-reader or something on my uh, on my boat as well, um, with like a ton of books on sailing and uh, manuals and you know all this kind of stuff. But I'm also gonna want a lot of the important um, stuff in like a physical copy as well because, well, a physical copy's battery doesn't die because there, it's just it's just the books there, right? Less convenience, I find, if you're trying to, like, search through it for something. Um, because on, on an e-reader or something like that, you can just, like, you know, search through it, and it's a lot more convenient. But, your battery can die. Um, you know, you could, um, it could get wet and then damaged, and, you know, a book could get wet and damaged as well, but it's not like the whole book ends up getting lost to it. Um, so for the important stuff anyway, I just want to have a little bit of redundancy. Um in place and uh, I feel like this book is definitely one of the books that I would like to have at least at the start and probably for the like foreseeable future um, a, a physical copy of because it, it's uh, it's got a lot of really really great info a lot of like just terms and um, you know all the basic stuff that you need to, to understand to be able to communicate problems and fix problems and then uh, also you know just sale in the first place um so it's one of the books that i want to have a hard copy of but then i also want to have a digital copy of it um those ones are going to be pirated so i was looking around for a um because look look i don't like if i own the physical thing i'm I'm allowed to pirate it in my opinion okay um i don't care about the look, look i'm pay 70 bucks for the dang book okay like that's more than most people are paying for the damn book so you know what my moral sense of righteousness isn't uh, isn't going to beat me up over that one. Um, anyway, um, I was looking around and I found archive.org, which you know is, is a fantastic um, website. I've used it for like the Wayback Machine many 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 times for a lot of things, um, but. Apparently, they also just have, like, a library, basically. Um, I don't know if it's, like, legal or whatever, <laughs> necessarily. Um, but it works, you know, like, the same way a, a physical library would work, you know? Like, you get to you get to go onto the website and, like, borrow a book for, you know, a couple of weeks. So I, I made my accounts on archive.org, and I, I borrowed this book. And I get it for another 13 days, so 
I'm like, that's cool. I'll probably end up returning it, you know, um, soon. I don't know, like, may, may, like I, I don't, I don't know, like how it works, you know. Because what's the point of having a return date if, um, if, uh, if they're going to be j able to just continue loading the book out even while it's loaned out? So my assumption is that while I'm loaning it, somebody else can't come and loan it or, you know, however many copies of the book they have, so to speak, you know? Um, so I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm inconveniencing people who would want to read it by having it loaned. I have no idea how it works. I've, I've never thought that this would be a thing, to be honest with you. Um, just because DRM and all that kind of nonsense. And, uh, you know, copyright and all, you know, just a lot of problems with it, right? So I, I had no idea that it would be a thing, and I have no idea how it works exactly. Um, so I'll probably end up returning it just because, I don't know, if I'm not going to actually use it, there's no reason to, to have it there. So, you know, worst case scenario is, uh, is, is oh, there's only a limited number of copies. Best case scenario is... There's an unlimited number of copies. Either way, it doesn't take long to just hit the return button, so I'm just going to do that, just in case. Um, once I get the physical book on Tuesday, but I've been reading it a little bit. i got a few pages in. Um, it's like a slow read, though. It's a very slow read. Because um, this is like, you know, learning a new thing, right? Like, I'm not just, like, I'm not just reading it for, for leisure, necessarily. Right, like I'm, I'm reading it to learn what all the, the aspects of a sailboat are and stuff like that, and, and understand all these things. So I'm kind of like, you know, reading a part and then going to the picture and looking at it, and like, you know, tying what uh, what they're saying to what's going on in the picture, and then like rereading parts, and it's it's a very very slow read because uh, it's, it's a textbook basically, right? Um, so. I'll get through it eventually, and I'm going to look forward to having the actual physical copy in hand, because I can't actually read it on my phone. Uh, my eyesight is not good enough to read on a phone comfortably. With with glasses, I have, like, you know, like, it's, it's correctable to 2020. It's just, I don't, I don't think it's like my eyesight is bad. I think it's just in general, just like, I just, like, I, I just want bigger words, that's all. Like, I can read it, it's just... It comes on Tuesday. I'll just wait until it's bigger words. You know, like it's fine. My glasses work. Um, so I'm not like you know blind or anything like that. It's just it's just inconvenient and, and not desirable. So I want to um to wait until it comes and then I'll have the the bigger text. So my computer screen, it's fine. You know, I just um I'm one of those old people who just likes to be comfortable. You know, like a lot of people like to make all the text small and stuff, and you feel like all this stuff on your screen. I'm like, I don't know. Just make it big so I can see it easy. Like, it doesn't... I can just scroll, you know? Like, who cares? Um, but then the, the width of the uh, this, the phone screen is, is very small. So you have to fit the entire page on there where you're, like, scrolling. And, uh, you know, the, the width of the phone screen is, like... I don't know, maybe, like, 17% of the width of the, the paper the book was originally, paint, you know, printed in. So the words are all like 17% the size as well and it's just, it's just very very small words on a phone and it's uh, very inconvenient to read so I just don't really want to do it which means that the only place I can read it is at my computer but I'd like to be able to read it elsewhere you know maybe I'm in bed or I'm sitting on the couch or I'm at a table somewhere or something like that you know like it'd be nice to be able to, to leave my room and uh, continue reading it but I, I just I can't do that on my on my phone currently um, so it'll be it'll be nice to uh, to get that done eventually, um, just so that we can have uh, I'm feeling generous. you know the book there, and then also I think there's like uh, lessons and and uh, things you might want to write in the book as well. Um, it's a textbook, right? Like that's that's what it is. So. Anyway, like I said, they're going to be shorter episodes today. I just don't really want to record, so one assist. Thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe, comment, do all that kind of stuff, and I'll see you next time with another short video. Bye.